Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another Moon Colony live stream. It's nice to see you all again. Um, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like I've been gone for a day. It only it feels like it feels like I was here just earlier today. But um, it it's nice. To see it you. feels like it's Wednesday, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. It feels like it's Wednesday. <laughs> um but yeah as you can see uh we've got melissa back with us again today hello melissa how are you doing hello um it's friday doing great <laughs> yeah. yeah we've got you yeah last last thing friday so uh it's feeling good but uh, i hope you all had a wonderful week uh anybody that i didn't see yesterday i hope you had a, had a fantastic thursday uh but what are you doing for us today melissa so we were talking about doing master studies and now whatever your definition of master study might would be uh, works of all previous artists that had um, a lot of skill, uh, a lot of great artworks and whenever you can learn something from them, you could do a study, it can be color studies like maybe they did a great anatomy, the drawing, the values, whatever you want to learn, you're free uh, to take it as a reference and try to make your own. It doesn't have to be finished or polished. Whatever your goal is, if you if you achieve that, it doesn't have to, to, to be to the point one-to-one, -one, like reproduction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the problem with my study, I, like you can find in our references, 15 photos, there are some of these. If you want all of these, I can upload. This is almost half a gigabyte. And um, I had to stop because it was too late last night when I was gathering this. But I will go through uh, some of them now. We can pick a few. I was thinking maybe uh, because I'm doing creatures and characters all the time, uh, doing study of the background. And like this is more color study. It's not much um, to do with the drawing or it's it's simple in terms of shapes it's more doing of the colors mm -hmm. and how much how you can achieve dark spots in shadows and in lights with uh, colors and there is not you see the contrast but you don't go into blacks but more into purples and the uh, colder blues so we also can pick one or two to do today i put the names so if you want to look the artist up you can do that too like uh, if should, you need clothes mm? i was gonna say i should probably mention that uh i've uploaded the references onto a google drive uh, the link can be found in the discord we have a discord channel called streaming where i put all of our announcements when we're going live but there's also a link in there to grab yeah the 15 references that melissa was telling you about uh, just a second ago so go and take a look and follow along but yeah you carry on <laughs> I just wanted to talk because I was sitting and I have folders full of these artworks. I'm like, let's pick one or two of each one just so we have a range uh, what can be done. Mm -hmm. For this, look at the clothes. If you want to see different textures and how the clothes is rendered and how it goes in the shadows, this is your guy. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is, look, it's tiger skin. I have it, I have it here too. I know it's dead animals, and but the hunting, the the skins, it was uh, part of the, of everyday life, yeah. and I think this is beautiful um, painting. Mm -hmm. If you want something si simple, this is nice to see how you can do the the rim lights and how you can simplify, um, the, like this part, the torso, the the hair is simplified. You don't have to do each trend. Uh, you can. I'm missing the words today. That's all right. Take you your time. You can ac <laughs> accentuate the hairs just with the light and such. Uh, somebody with greater vocabulary would do better today <laughs> with more adjectives to do <laughs> this. Friday. But yeah, it is a Friday. Yeah, you're allowed. Um, John Singer Sargent. Jaden, mm -hmm. you can also help with reading the yeah, names. Just, uh, yeah. He got a bunch of works. Many people do studies of him. His clothes, the way uh, he's separating. What would we call this material? I don't know. Um, but he got... Yeah, like silk mm, or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, probably. Uh, it's so nice how, how he rendered all of this. But then this clothes is so creamy. The, the values are so nicely grouped. Mm -hmm. So I also saved this. 
The second thing with doing studies, uh, I, I try to nitpick is many um, many paintings are not or scanned or took with the camera. They look different depending on who took them and they put more saturation or the light in the room wasn't enough mm. or we have a lot of pixelation on this one. So you're not really sure which one you should pick, which one is the closest to original it can be. So you have to find one that's satisfying enough for you to start with. That's the thing. Uh, I uh, like. I was thinking first when I was talking to you about the Lady Godiva. Yes. Uh, but look at this. This is too overexposed, and this is took, I guess, in museum or in the gallery, and mm. we have um, the top light reflection. This is also not good if you are doing a study and you're not sure what you're looking at. And or this one, I'm not sure is it even the same image, but this one is done with so many uh, filters. Yeah. Sometimes there is reproduction. Sometimes uh, you will have a series like Napoleon. Um, they may uh, uh, him. If you can read it, I can. <laughs> uh, it's like Jacques Louis David, I, I think. If I was to guess. Okay. This artist made a series of Napoleon crossing the Alps. And the uh, the paintings were in many different countries, um, or are in different countries. So, mm -hmm. I, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with horses. So I would draw this horse, and then I, I, I would look the next time. Oh, I thought the horse was bright uh, brown or was white. I'm not sure <laughs> now. Did I pick the wrong one? And then you see the golden clock, and this is the red clock. And then you realize, oh, it's a series of paintings. But then I, I do prefer this one. This one is good. I'm not sure about the contrast. In real life, is it this contrasty or is it the fault of the camera? Because look at this one. Uh, this is a domestic a Serbian painter. Where was the one? This one. Here you can see the fire and the pot cooking on it. Here you can see nothing. It's really big uh, difference who, who took a photo or the scan. Yeah. So the, the, that, that was my main concern when I was picking all these for references, which one I want to do. And uh, yeah, the, the Van Gogh also did a series of the same uh, motif. I think his sister told, gave him advice when he was done. She was like, oh, this one's sold. Make more one of like this one. And then he made a bunch more of sunflowers. So there is also that one. Oh, William Adolf. I don't know this. Uh, he got also a lot of great, if you want to do, how, how, how to paint the skin. And um, it was a bit challenge to find where the people are covered enough for the stream, because I think <laughs> Twitch went back on their policy on yeah, nudity for artists. Within and then I'm hours. like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, damn, that was great opportunity. Now we, uh, because he got a big range of artworks, mostly mm. uh, like people. Um, you can pick whichever you want because look how nicely he changes. This is a bit purplish, a bit pink red, uh, then brown, then with gray blues. Uh, I'm just talking what I like to do. I, I like mixing colors <laughs> in this way because I do digital. So yeah. you try to do what they did in traditional. Mm. And some paintings are damaged. Some paintings do uh, maybe uh, got the... You would put a varnish when the oil is dry, you put a varnish and then over the time if the painting uh, is exposed to the smoke or to the dust, the varnish got darker and some pigments also down uh, below the varnish uh, starts, like the blue pigments uh, become desaturated a bit. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there is no way to see how image originally looked. Or you have to either imagine or you wait somebody to repair, to remove the varnish and put the new one, new one on. or do some reparations. Uh, the Jaden said no to this one. I really love these deers, <laughs> but Jaden said no. And I just I, wanted to I, talk. I, huh? I didn't say no. I said, you didn't I said say no you when try. you saw the guts. Could try it. Oh, well, with the guts, maybe not. But. <laughs> uh, friends, 
Uh, I think he really liked the study he did, the drawing, the study he did, and then he uh, also made a series where he would do the same theory or in similar pose a lot. And I agree, it's really nice the way to pose, even though the animal is sadly dead now. But then I like this lion too. It got nice contrast, and all yeah. is defined in this skin. The fur, is but this nice one. Too. Yeah, but I don't know, it's too bit dark. I don't know, is it because of varnish? Is it original like this? Because this is also a brighter version with more yellow inside it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, and these are uh, newer, newer, uh, from 2000s. I also picked some of the traditional works from 2000s. Uh, I think I follow some of them. Like the night scenes, cow white night scene, this is also great if you are not sure how to do night scenes. We were talking in the voice chat in Discord this about the other day. Uh, this is really nice gradient and how you can do white in the shadows because this one is tricky. Mm -hmm. You would do um, a reflection of lights from the sky and from the grass and then you have sunset from here. Oh, um, these are not... Alyssa, mm -hmm. uh, what, was the, what was the artist for the lion? painting uh this one friends oh, snyder's and snyder's and this is the name of one of the paintings okay cool thank you it's just somebody uh somebody was asking in the chat so i don't know did they pick the lion in the export but he also got a lot of they also say uh dead nature we uh, literally translated we call dead nature something uh, like uh, this would be here but this is literally that nature yeah. Mm. Or, yeah. I wanted to do horses. There are so many great paintings of horses, but how much I can do without Jaden stop inviting me here? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, one last thing about the, the modern paintings. Uh, doing the study of something like this uh, can teach you a lot how you can do background for your mm. characters. Uh, how you can mix the colors uh, and if you squint you will see they're not that contrasty they're mo mostly uh, bright and in the middle range so you don't go into the blacks when doing backgrounds and that will help you to make your character looking really closer and background won't compete with your characters um, yeah it was 2am when i was finishing <laughs> this and then i ca carried some more uh, this horse is really nice like yeah. the varnish or anything it's clean painting oh look at the oh, yeah. Oh, cute. yeah yeah it's called i think maybe i cut a bit <laughs> because it couldn't fit but yeah it's a go to get to look that's cute and i also put some of the local painters from past century or century before that one uh, they depicted uh, like historicals mm -hmm. this is historical scene this one uh, but this is St. George and the Dragon. I love St. George and the Dragon. I could draw the dragons and the horses in the same I image. Can you imagine? <laughs> it would be perfect. <laughs> uh, we have uh, like an icon in our home. Uh, and th this is what I would always draw. It takes a lot of time to draw a dragon uh, propping up on the back yeah. legs and, and a dragon underneath. But I had a great fun of it. Some of these are historical, like this one, but they are not... Um, this is not historically done with the clothing, it's just the scene of the crowning of one of our emperors. And... Um, I don't know, for, like I said, I collected images. I didn't have time to do all the history background checks of everyone. It's, it's okay. We, uh, I, I said to you earlier today, I was like, oh, we're not a... We're not a history... We're not a history company so it's fine <laughs> we're not historical <laughs> experts <laughs> i'm dumb dumb as long as uh, know who did them it's fine <laughs> i was thinking maybe uh, i did co uh, collect all these people but i was thinking maybe i can do this mm -hmm. uh this one and maybe a bit to contrast the blues to do this one more on yellow side sure um these two or we can do one of those and then maybe the cherry uh cherry girls so, if you have any preference, write them now, or Jaden can make a, a fast poll. Oh, yeah, I can, I can do a quick poll. Hold on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are all great. Like, look at this. We, I don't have time for this one, but this is so nice. 
to practice uh, how to control the whites really nicely in cream colors. S -s Search this artist up, somehow this one missed me. Uh, he got a lot of paintings, uh, like old Rome, uh, with all this stone uh, for the seating and... Uh, there you go. Uh, I've started everything is... So feel free to cast your, your votes. Thank you. Um, What's the name of this town? I forgot. Oh, well done. You've, you've run away. You've disappeared. Give me a sec. There we go. Um, which which bit are you pointing at? Oh, the stone? All the, like, yeah. Uh, is it marble? A marble, yeah. I cannot yeah. remember the English word. Mm -hmm. He got a bunch of marble in his paintings and the uh, Roman everyday stuff. Um, and he's from 19th century, so it's like imagination. Yeah. Well, it's it's looking like it's going to be uh, a landscape and one other. So a landscape and like a portrait or whatever it is. Okay, I will do first this one to sure. warm up. And then I will st at least start this one because you got a bit of drawing. I really like how the skin of the tiger is done. And I think I will pick th this second one because it's not too contrasty and I can see the colors and nice shades. Uh, all the others are a bit over contrasty or exposed. Yeah. And we will see how it goes. Okay, I'm picking this one. Just to resize this down. Uh, and yeah, if you guys want to follow along, then as I mentioned earlier, you can grab some of the references that, that we looked at just now uh, on on Discord, or go and find your own references. You know, that's that's a lot more fun. You can do what Melissa did and take a historical deep dive if you really want to. <laughs> go and find some some local painters, maybe. Uh, but, because, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, but whatever you do, uh, share it with us in our Discord, uh, in the study room. We love seeing people's works. It was awesome yesterday after Antoine's stream to see your, your character redesigns. You did some great uh, some great work oh, there. I need to check it. I had to go yesterday, so I need to check. Oh, yeah, it was good. What I don't understand for some of these uh, that I was looking at Google, mm. many are free and you have them on Wiki in really big resolution. This, this is why this file is um, half a gigabyte. Like, <laughs> this is good resolution. Some of these images are 50 megabytes alone. Um, and... These are all paintings, I think it's royalty free, but many of those uh, that are not even for selling, they are watermark, not allowed to enlarge, uh, such like that. This one I understand, this this is the living artist selling his yeah. paintings, uh, This that's why he put them in small resolution, but some that are in museums, I don't know why they are not scanned better. Yeah, I wonder if... Uh... I don't know. I suppose it's it's uh, it's not it's not good for the uh, for the museum, I suppose, because it stops people from going to the museum to see the piece when they can just see it online for free. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know either. Okay. Oh no, perspective. Help. <laughs> Let's block it out. Uh, I have a VIX when I'm just rendering. I did all the drawing or somebody else did it for me and I'm doing just the rendering part. So when I start drawing, I'm like, everybody see I'm fake. I don't know <laughs> how to draw. <laughs> I suppose it's, that's something that's, uh, uh, that's, that's something interesting about working at a, a studio like ours. Some days you are working, uh, you're working from somebody else's work sometimes, you know, you're, someone else might provide you with a sketch or whatever and you, you're rendering it or you spend a couple of weeks doing your own render and then forget how to draw. Mm, completely. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I know we, I know we, we spoke a lot at the start of the stream, so I will just go through and say some, some hellos. I see we got a few, a few messages in here at the start. Um, Christina said we had 45 followers to go until we reached our next goal. I think that's actually gone up since then. Uh, it's probably more like 42, 43, something like that now. But, uh, what is our goal? 
our goal is 2,000 followers. Oh. So we're nearly there. Yeah, it's crazy. We got it pretty quick. So um, thank you, everybody who's following. And if you aren't following already, then why not? Give us a give us a follow. We have some some great content coming up uh, coming up in the future. Lots of educational content, some Q and A's as well. Um, it'll be great. Uh, uh, Reen Naki Art said, "Melissa is such a huge inspiration for me. I love their art. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, nice. Thank you, Rinaki. Um Hello, Hooting Mandrill. Hello, James Meffy. Hello, Chicken Man. I see you, Ignacio, doing your Christmas songs." Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, I finished my art. I mean, that's so beautiful. That was great. Nice job, man. I asked Jaden when we were setting up, uh, Jaden, what happened last Christmas? He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what I gave you last Christmas? <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what you were talking about. Out of nowhere, just, hey, Jaden, what happened last Christmas? I was like, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, great, great job. Um, hello, Skelpel, Zarian, Munya, Munya, watching the Moon Colony stream. Such a fitting name. Uh, Hooting Mandrill, Carmine. Hello, everybody. I won't go through everyone. It's a big old list. But uh, Goose Design says, uh, "Hello, Governor. Hello, Goose." Uh, how are you? Watching on mute for a while, working while watching. Ah, that's okay. Yeah, enjoy the vibes. It's fine. Enjoy the beautiful art. Um, <laughs> George Michael song. Yeah, man. You love. You gotta love George Michael. When I was growing up, my my mum had George Michael on the radio all the time. What would benefit me here is um, to experiment more with brushes. Yeah. But I don't, I, I want, I have my three brushes <laughs> and I refuse. You know, we will use one extra. I was going to say, you know what brush you need? You, you need Leone to send you the, send you the moon colony brushes. I don't know, for this you need extra texture brushes that uh, maybe change the hue. When you go, they have um, this thing, uh, where is it? Brush pose. Somewhere here, anywhere was hue uh, slider, then um, when you go it changes hue, which is really nice because you see here you have this look colder, this is probably all yellow or orange, but they saturated. Yeah. And when you have brush who do, does that for you, it you, you do the study uh, looking faster, but I think it's good that you understand what you're doing and that you handpick colors uh, judging by the reference you have to achieve this look, not to it's not cheating, but it's kind of help. Do, do it by hand, yeah. it's, uh, it's using the tools that, that you're given. That's not cheating. Eyes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, hello, Andrew Panto, nice to see you. Uh, Goose says, "Nice. When you were looking at the art, were those sent in or a competition? Um, those were just those were just pieces that Melissa found online to use for reference. Um, they they weren't they weren't sent in or anything like that. Melissa did her own research firsthand. Yeah. What competition? I didn't understand competition. Oh, they were just asking whether the pictures we looked at at the start of the stream were sent in." to us or whether ah. uh, or something like that ah, i pick pick one i like or thought um uh, would be nice range oh, i didn't talk about these horses <laughs> if we have know. if we have like two days to do this i would do this because look a nice shadows in blue and the horses are reddish and then you have a mix of bounce light so mm. nice the the thing doesn't look nice it looks like something for war but the horses are nice and the colors are great. I was going to say that they, they have really good uh, poses as well. Mm -hmm. Like the, the form on the that horse in the middle, especially, you can tell it's really yeah. pushing or pulling even. But this is just part of painting. Uh, like maybe it's zoom in. There is more to it. 
Uh, but I couldn't find the better version. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I excluded so many paintings because I couldn't find the better version, where it's full or not from angle. And this one, uh, one said, is so great uh, with the with the rest of the landscapes. I can zoom in. I I, I mean, he did simplify the back leaves, but he painted a lot of the front ones. Wow, that's that's beautiful. When you zoom out, it almost looks like a photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this one, I thought, oh, this is a photo, and then I went and found original big file, and then you can see, oh, it's not. Wow. I hope I did find all originals. Some are reproductions are re done really good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just can't imagine how long it must have taken. To, oh, there's the other to thing. Realistic. They could, they could spend uh, sometimes a, a year uh, doing from time to time their painting, uh, visiting beach, looking oh how it looks when it's cloudy, or how it looks mm. when they are pulling out the fish, or how nets look. They would go constantly paint some more, paint some more. Right now we are like oh you have three to five days to finish this. <laughs> uh, no time for posing. So before you would pay maybe your own models to take references or to pose for you. Now just search for whatever you can find in half an hour and start referencing that. Uh, there is no waiting time. Sometimes it's nice when you sit down and leave it for a few days or a week mm -hmm. and then come back to it. At yeah. least I can do that with my personal stuff. So sometimes it took me half a year to finish something because I started it. I don't have time or inspiration now. And sometimes like I want to work on this now i didn't work for three months now i want to finish it yeah and that's nice yeah it is nice and i think coming back with that fresh that fresh pair of eyes after like a week is well even longer than a week like a month sometimes you look at it and you go oh wow what was i thinking fresh, <laughs> fresh eyes and also uh you detach the emotions of oh i put a lot of labor in this i don't want to change this because it like it would may not crush me, but it would hurt to uh, delete this. And now you have after a month, you can see it's other person work. So you don't yeah. have your personal feelings into it. Oh, I need to change this. This look, uh, this sucks. Yeah. Uh, and some pe some people. Mm. No, you go, you go. Some people don't have feelings at the first at all for their commercial work. I'm like, how? This is still my, like, <laughs> not my kid, but this is still uh, my hand's work. I need yeah. to have some much. They're like, nope. I'm like, you're emotionless. <laughs> how dare you? You're a bad parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You speak to some artists and they're like, well, work is work. And it's like, so you don't, mm -hmm. you know, you, d you don't really... You don't care about these at all. That well, I care about them. I want to do a good job because it's my job, but I don't have any like strong emotional attachment to them. <laughs> I I can't. Uh, mostly I have. If I don't if I don't like them, then I I dislike them. That's mm -hmm. even worse. Now I cannot finish <laughs> because I disliked. Yeah. Uh, Erskek said, yeah, sometimes you're you're attached to your errors and it's hard to fix them right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so for me, times help, but sometimes you don't have time. So you have to psych it up. Mm. <laughs> Leo and... says, life is easier without attaching to things. <laughs> That's coping, Leonie. <laughs> yeah, Leonie's like huffing the copium right now. <laughs> <laughs> and very next day you gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> please no more Christmas songs I'm already sad enough as it is a small shape. okay I, I will start painting this like I didn't pay much attention to perspective or anything we are not here for perspective because mm. this is simple scene we are here because this uh, I don't know do you track my mouse these blues are so nice in background and so contrasty to this warm uh, yellow, yellows, oranges, yellows, I think. Yeah. For some reason, it doesn't make sense to differentiate much between yellows and oranges. When you paint, they are so close, you step onto each other. Mm -hmm. So when somebody asks me what this color is, yeah, orange, yellow, I don't know. 
I do that sometimes with uh, certain certain blues and greens. I'll look at a blue and and be like, oh, that's a nice shade of green. And then my friend will be like, no, Jaden, that's that's not blue. Oh, that's not green. No, why? But yeah, I mean, oranges and yellows are, are, are so similar. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I don't like this. And very next day, give it away. Um, so I says, whatever happens, don't forget to save the file. Yeah, that's okay. the biggest. Okay. That's the biggest mistake. <laughs> the biggest mistake you can make is spending like a hundred hours on something and then accidentally. Don't there is it. no way you you can do that. Uh, you hundred hours, you're gonna make like no. seven files. Seven? Is that it, man? I remember when I was at university, I was doing, when I was doing my like, three university, models. not professional. Yeah, I know, but even yeah, but this is what I'm saying. Like, I was doing my 3D models, and I was saving like an iteration of it every like 20 minutes. It would take. I would end up with like 50 different versions on like a, I don't know, like a five-hour project. It's crazy. That's so much. I was so paranoid about it being like corrupted or or something. It happens. Um, you are uh, what's called scum saving when you play video game and do that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Save scumming. I was save scumming save my scumming. way through my projects. It stems from there was a time when I I spent uh, I just worked like six hours straight on this model and then pulled out my memory stick without thinking and then uh plugged it into my personal pc when i got back home and the whole memory stick had been corrupted and that all oh. that work was just gone so from then yeah, on yeah this just... the school had um Transmissive disease of bunch of viruses. <laughs> yeah. All the USB, everything was um, how you say when something picks up. Uh, what do you mean? Not infected. I okay. Let's say infected. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Now the color here's go more to greenish. And then goes to a bit white, but still greenish. So you're just getting like the, the rough colors down right now? Yeah, that's what's gonna we do for this one. Yeah. Rough colors all the way. Nice. The closer we come, the more warmer colors we have. Mm -hmm. So we go more to yellows, but not like this. Now the greens are especially hard. <laughs> Pick correctly. Such a small it's change big. can have such a big difference. The greens are always so hard to pick. Yeah. They look anemic or they yeah. look too plasticky. <laughs> and then for darks here, they went saturated blue. Blue, right? But it's not that dark. Uh, Goose says, I love the accents, I love the chat and the insight. Oh, thank you very much. What accent? I, I think they mean our accents. Not the accent colors? It might be the accent, accent colors. colors. I don't know. I personally think that we have great accents, Melissa. Just speaking. Um... But no, I'm glad I'm not the only person that struggles with blues and greens as well, looking in chat. Um, Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Where are hydrations today? I almost coughing. Uh, you know, Look sometimes... at Jaden. Jaden is dying without the water. Help Jaden. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm so dehydrated. Actually, it's a good point. I'll do my, I can do my own, my own hydrate. 
Oh, I have so many points. When are we putting new stuff? <laughs> when, when I get around to it, Melissa. <laughs> uh, do you have uh, what you're going to put on there? I have a few ideas. Yeah, I have a few ideas. I, I just need to uh, I just need to get around to putting them in. Okay. I have other I have other priorities right now. But they're on the way, I promise. And very next day you gave it away. <laughs> it's so annoying. That's gonna be stuck in my head like all day. <laughs> I'm going to be laying in bed at night and it'll just be going round and round and round. The thing is, uh, I know just one sentence from that, which is great. Because it doesn't hunt me too much. That's. I feel like that's worse. I feel like it's always worse when you only know like a few words from the... Uh, when you only know a few words from the song, because it just keeps going round. But I don't know the meaning, so I don't care. <laughs> you don't know the meaning? I mean, all of that sentence, yes, but I don't know the context of the whole song. Oh. Um, well, basically, a guy fell in love with someone and then, like, told her, told her on Christmas. And then the next day, she was like, nah, I don't love you. And then, like, got with his friend instead. So. Oh, she went with the friend. Yeah, it's, it's spicy. How did that happen? Reason, and for some reason, I don't. And you know, I don't know how it happened. Spill the tea, Jade, and you cannot tell me half. You know, when you send the dude and he brings the tea, and then he doesn't, he didn't ask the whole story. <laughs> so now you don't know uh, how you didn't ask. They split up. How they split up? I didn't ask. Why you didn't ask? <laughs> Go, ask... No, go and ask them. I cannot ask. Yes, you can go. I didn't ask because I personally didn't know George Michael when he was when he was alive, so I couldn't ask. But you bring me the half tea. <laughs> so, so I'll look up the lyrics in a few minutes and tell you. No, but, don't. I'm joking. But first, uh, we have a we have a question. Um, uh, Andrew Punto says, uh, how often or how frequently would you recommend to do studies? That's your things? personal thing. Don't force yeah. yourself to do them. Uh, but if you feel you're rusty uh, or you want something fun, uh, maybe you're missing a post for your socials. I don't know what your reason would be to do one, but do yeah. it from time to time. I didn't do this like master study in a long time. I did it before for schoolism. I think it was Nathan Fokers, Fox, mm. Fox, sorry, uh, course, when uh, the homework was to do these kind of studies. Um, I did some later, but sometimes you're like, I want to do something original, I can post. But then you see you're missing the control of colors or something. Um, yeah. Or you're rusty at drawing. So you do this for fun. I mean, I say for fun. You do this You do this to learn stuff. Mm -hmm. But it, it's supposed to be fun for you too. Don't force them. Yeah. I was going to say... At least that, I... Mm. Oh, no, you, you carry on. Sorry. I, I noticed whatever I, I do on force, like any kind of studies, then you hate it and want to forget it as fast as possible. Mm. So I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah. I was going to say it's, they probably work out quite well as um, as small breaks if you're working on if you're working on a larger illustration or something and you feel yourself getting frustrated then it probably works well as a nice uh, sort of step back <laughs> if you can find a nice a nice portrait or a landscape like this one to do a study of you know it'll only take maybe half an hour or something. I'm like, oh, this looks unfinished. I wanted to finish it now. And then I would spend a lot of time to look finished, but then, of course, it wouldn't look like original. <laughs> and that's fine. You just need to tell yourself a few more times that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Especially if it's just for yourself. Like, if it's not going anywhere either. But the, the thing is... Um... No, no, you go. You already have it stylized. Uh, the main problem, how it would look in real life, if it's plain air or a photograph, it's already uh, resolved. Now you have to look 
how you're gonna group all of this mm -hmm. and don't get stuck into details because he already removed the details you don't need or they um i found the great uh list it was all the master studies for uh where women are authors and most of them did horses imagine that <laughs> At least on that list. <laughs> or it was list about may maybe American um, authors from certain century. You know, depending on century or on the time, you would have, sorry, a different sorry. style uh, where sometimes they do realism, impression impressionism. Sometimes mm -hmm. they just do uh, landscapes with without like humans. Sometimes they do... You know what I'm talking about. Now you can do whatever you want and post that. Uh, there is no like a theme of the century or something. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't really, I suppose you don't really get many traditional, uh, you don't really get many traditional painters anymore. So I, I guess you don't, you don't have. I don't, no, no, you have them bunch still. Yeah, I suppose so, but you don't, you don't, I don't hear about many. It is more what I mean, like, and I don't know. Could you, could you assign like a theme to, to the century, to our, to our century? I don't know if you could. But... That no, but you do have a bunch of traditionals. Don't worry. Sometimes you don't even realize, like, um, mm. the name. A A Sing, uh, I'm not sure. He's doing a lot of Magic the Gathering work, all is traditional, yeah. and people if don't know, if they are not artists, maybe they wouldn't even notice. But mm. it's great. Then there is Ryan, again, I'm so terrible with remembering the names <laughs> and the surnames. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know people were doing art for, art for Magic cards, like, traditionally. That's really cool. No, no, they originally done all traditionally, and then people started digitally, and then you can sell the originals. Uh, Sometimes they go even more than the uh, the piece was commissioned for the card. They would sell traditionally originals for more. Wow. So the people love doing them tradi if they can. Uh, yeah. Not everyone is traditional good at traditional arts. Mm -hmm. Oh, once we. Maybe when we have more artists who start practicing tra uh, traditional here more, mm -hmm. you could do that kind of stream maybe, but it would take longer, I assume. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, Messiah says that they're a traditional artist, but a beginner. Oh, that's awesome. See? Yeah. They just, uh, I suppose because I'm surrounded by, I'm surrounded by... Uh -huh digital artists my my vision is clouded I need to broaden my horizons um i'm a traditional artist myself all i do is buy uh, supplies and then stack them on a shelf <laughs> that's like me saying that i'm a miniature painter i buy a yes. bunch of minis yes. and then just leave them in the box <laughs> that's where they belong in the box on the shelf I was in I was in Discord the other day and I was like talking to, I was talking to some people about my miniatures and I was like yeah I have this box of like 50 and then I was like and I have this other box of 25 and I have this box of 40 <laughs> pulling out boxes of stuff that I just haven't built or painted yes um, this is the oh Lisa says is it Ryan Pancoast the magic artist that you were talking about? I don't remember, I don't remember. that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it was. Uh, I but... follow them. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Lisa. Ah, it looks like it. There is another dude. Um, I don't know. Uh, the thing of socials, I see all the time artists, but then because they're gonna just pop out, I don't need to remember them. And also everyone has different username, then on different side is different username. Hmm. 
sometimes there is a smart username that you don't have um, it's gonna you're gonna remember it really fast but yeah. then sometimes oh i'm doing talk this is me it's first time you see their face and uh, their real name who is this <laughs> i mean i'd have thought you'd remembered ryan's uh name because his instagram is literally r pancoast so it's his name but um... don't judge me <laughs> this is not my language um... i have an excuse day <laughs> yeah i was like i was like well now i'm now i feel bad so i'm sorry <laughs> um... <laughs> my excuse works <laughs> Uh, Messiah says they feel difficulty remembering Russian names, or like, yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, more like Slavic names, I suppose. But yeah, it makes sense. Uh, the Ayla, in a week, do you dedicate most days to doing art? I know some people do it every day, but do you give yourself a day or two in a week to have a break from creating? Well, I mean, it's it's your full time job, Melissa. But um... sometimes I do on the weekend stuff for me, for others, for studies for whatever hmm. i did can i show them jaden art yeah yeah sure yeah if you've got it if you've got it to hand then why not i think it's here i like i, I did uh, we did uh like ten of us did secret santa hmm. and i got jaden i got the bestest i i could get <laughs> because i have like 30 uh pictures of jaden in my file <laughs> we got a, lo a lot of sharing his face and he, uh, you do this um, you, you already had a costume mm -hmm. so it wasn't that hard to add some stuff so oh. I, I would do something like that on the weekend something for fun or something for my portfolio yeah depends yeah no that was really cool it's it's now my my discord profile picture but yeah so it's, it was very cool. And I appreciate it a lot. I will not be showing what I drew for Secret Santa because it was, uh, yeah, I thought it was great, but, um, <laughs> but it was not. <laughs> There's a reason why okay. I don't draw on stream. This looks anemic. We need, I need to punch this up. More colors, more contrast to look. Now, I'm not sure is this part like this in real life, the sky, mm. or is it because of camera exposure? I know there are some sites uh, where everything is scanned really good, mm. uh, but not all pieces are at one place, which is sad. Yeah. This anemic more. Oh, they like, I think people liked my. Uh... You liked my portrait. <laughs> Lisa says, "Oh, that's so cool!" Green man draws like glorious. Uh, Zarian, oh, that's so sweet. Messiah, that looks so cool. Yeah, I I get spoiled. I get spoiled working at Moon Colony. I've had so many. Yeah. I had so many pictures. Three portraits. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I even like I. I joined the Discord voice chat after lunch, and one of our regulars in there uh, was like, Hey, Jaden, do you want a free portrait? And I'm like, uh, I, I feel bad, but sure. Another one? Yeah, I mean, that was what I said. I was like, I get so many free portraits, I feel bad. Um, oh, that's I'll, why you put references. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, thanks for coming, Andrew. Thanks for watching. It's much appreciated. Have a good day. No, oh, have a good weekend. It's a weekend. It is the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. I love that video. I don't know why. It's so good. We have different preferences in our brains. Like when we played trivia, I was so mad because I, I didn't care about any of the in that in trivia. And then you don't know the stuff I I like and prefer. It's the it's the the cultural difference. And and the I age think it's gap. all 
age and also the gender because me and Floya both had the same opinion on the stuff y you other liked. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you and you and Floya gang up on me, so it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I would say one thing, you would say the other, just to get a reaction. Of course, that's how yeah. the things work. How exactly. you are supposed to uh, exactly. fight? This Bullies. is the Bullies. Mm -hmm. um, oh, hey, Histuni, nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Uh, they said this looks, this is looking neat, Melissa. It really is. Not yet, but thank you. Yeah, when I'm doing landscapes, I do need to practice those. I hope you're mm. practicing with us. Uh, I'm I, I, I'm exposing my weaknesses. <laughs> Don't judge. Write that down. Write that down. But it's good practice because everyone needs a background. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The colors are still not looking creamy. How we can make them creamy? More contrast. More bigger. Making bigger strokes. Mm -hmm. More to green, the saturated here. Darker. This is how I communicate with myself in the in the inside. <laughs> Ordering what to do next, like SpongeBob. <laughs> I was, I love the, the difference between what was going on in your head between what was going on in mine, because in mine I was looking at the the reference and I was thinking like, man, I bet it's so expensive to go to an island like that. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm way too broke to go to to go on holiday there. <laughs> I can tell you exactly how much it would cost. We uh, past six years we can be to three Greek islands. And I can yeah. tell you the expenses for the, it was a couple of us. It's so nice. I had, we had a great time in each one of them. Yeah. Uh, but the food is kind of pricey. So we would mm -hmm. cook one uh, because you don't have much time for the first meal. You want to go somewhere. So you cook whatever or bring something and go. And for second one, you put the makeup, the dress and you go somewhere nice. Mm -hmm. And that's pricey, the uh, same uh, as uh, when we were in England. The prices are kind of the same when you go to dinner. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it depends. Yeah, it depends where you go, but yeah, it can be quite expensive, I suppose. You ask for an island. Uh, there was a lot of English people there too, so it makes sense to raise a price. Yeah, yeah, the English love going to Greece. Uh, and then for a couple of us for 10 days eating out every day they're just for food then you mm -hmm. the car is expensive uh, because you need to rent a car yeah and they have smallest cars ever because islands has the smallest roads and everything is steep mm -hmm. oh there is a bunch of goats on these islands because there are no predators there is no way they're gonna leave the island so there's a bunch of goats <laughs> just meh, all around you <laughs> The nature is beautiful. I always pick the islands with a lot of forest and green. Mm -hmm. um, and so we can take a walk when it's too hot on the sun. We can take a walk through the forest. Yeah. Or uh, the last time we went to Kefalonia, there is a national park on the top. It's all like pine forest and it's, it's chilly. It's, uh, you need uh, long sleeves and uh, leggings. Because you're getting so cold, and down there is cooking. Down there is 30, 40 degrees. Up there, <laughs> you need all clothes. It's probably quite refreshing, uh, though. <laughs> it was so nice, and yeah. the view, so great view. Mm -hmm. So you have, at least for me, I always pick less people, more nature, more wild beaches. So I don't like when everything is, uh, what's called, the bed to bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just like crammed full of people, it's yeah. so busy. Yeah. So we will try to pick where, where is beach without any of that or just a bar. Mm -hmm. When you, when we go on foot, you go like a kilo, one or two kilometers on foot to the beach and there is just a bar and big beach and nice. you bring the snorkeling masks. Mm -hmm. 
the only problem is like, oh, we need to go, we are out of water or something. Oh, the problem with Greece. <laughs> the bars won't work. They were setting up bars, uh, the season was almost ending, they still did not finish setting up the bar. And they started in April or May. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is like five dudes working there, only one uh, dude from the outside uh, was working something. He was working everything actually. He was uh, selling out the beds, he was mm. cleaning them, he, he was um, moving stuff. Wow. Uh, bringing up the food. The other dudes were sitting at the bar uh, playing music. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, and they work a bit in the morning, like four hours in mm. the morning, four hours afternoon uh, because of heat, I assume. Yeah. But you never know which business works now, which doesn't, uh, which works on my day, Monday and not on Wednesday. And every island has its own rules. So you, it's it's tricky to get all the stuff you wanted if you're not paying attention. Mm. By the time you've even vaguely got used to it, used to it, it's time to go. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or you can always pay for a tour. I don't know. Some tours go from twenty, some to sixty or hundred euros, and mm. some you can do it yourself. Just rent a car, look where they are going for that tour, and do it all yourself. Yeah. We did that because the crowds, oh, the crowds. Are... I'm like, let's go early in the morning. Why are we going early? Trust me, let's go early in the morning. There is a cave and they uh, dig a tunnel. Mm -hmm. So we don't know where we're going to that cave. Let's go where there is a store. And then you're in the store and then you see there is a tunnel down there. Uh, they charge you to go. Up. So you go from store through tunnel and then you sit in small boat and now you're in the cave. Uh, I forgot, water here is few meters deep, but water mm. down there, I think it's 50 something meters. Wow. And there are pigeons living in cave. And then the top part, uh, the ceiling fell, I don't know how many thousand years ago from the earthquake. Mm. And it's really, really beautiful. And we uh, were almost right away. Uh, we got our, our boat fast. The moment we came back out of that small route, you just go to one side to another one. Uh, there was uh, one or two buses of people waiting. I'm like, I told you so. I told you <laughs> it's the right thing to do it uh, right in the morning. Yeah. Man, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to go and see uh, stuff like that. I really like going and see caves. There's a there's a place in in Wales that mm -hmm. uh, it's a hotel kind of uh, <laughs> where it's at, it's underground and it mm -hmm. takes you well it takes you two hours to get there right okay. from the from the the from ground level to where the the hotel is it takes two hours um because they give you like a tour of this mine mm -hmm. as you're going because it, it it used to be this like massive mine shaft so you go through this huge mine and you're like you're like climbing down um you're climbing down like rock faces and um and stepping over like waterfalls and stuff all in this mine <laughs> like all in this underground series of tunnels and everything and then you eventually after two hours get to uh where the 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 hotel portion is and it's like a bunch of wooden sheds that have been built underground in this in this cave, um, and it, it looks really cool. Like they're quite small, but you only really stay you only stay there for a night, and then you leave the next morning. Uh, Do you sing far over, misty mountain? Oh yeah, the, <laughs> the, 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 Lord of the, the the Hobbit. Cold. Yeah. I, I probably would end up doing that. I mean, when you're in a cave that, like, when you're in a cave like that, you have to sing something to get the acoustics. I bet the acoustics uh, there are amazing. Just so you know, you wouldn't want to do that in Greece because I felt two times in a day the earthquake, really, really small one, but just um, 50 or 70 years ago. Mm. There was a giant earthquake, a bunch of people died, uh, and the half of, 
I don't know how many numbers, let's say half. Part of that died and part moved out to America because it was easier to move out than to rebuild everything. And you wow. can still see some buildings that never were picked up. So you don't want to stay in cave for too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is like... It's, it's very rare that we get anything, that we get earthquakes in the UK, very rare. Yeah. We have some here, not much. Mm. So, uh, depends. Sometimes it would destroy, but small, smaller portions. But in Greece, I'm like, oh, something is like when we are at home and there is a truck passing by, but the street is not closed and there is no trucks here. It's small road. What is it? And then I realize, oh, it's a earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a movie. I'm like, sh should, should I wake him up? Should we run outside? <laughs> 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 I would probably end up sleeping through it. Uh, he was sleeping through it, but then I was thinking, what if it happens in the night because they know to do uh, do that occasionally? And then, only then, I was like, oh, let's check. And there is a live map of all Greek islands, and there is a ring, and we are on that ring of islands that are constantly, <laughs> like, uh, shaking. I'm like, great! Now oh. let's try to not think about it the next five days. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. It's like when when my parents and my sister went to uh, they went to the U.S. to visit some family we have over there, mm -hmm. and uh, and they got there, and within two hours, the uh, the tornado siren mm. was going off. <laughs> so they they were like, "Well, crap." Okay, so they had to go and like hide in my uh, they had to go and hide in our family's little uh little house you know they had to, to huh? stay in this little like cupboard under their stairs <laughs> while this tornado they have gone. they have shelter yeah they live in i can't remember what it's called now it's like tornado alley or something where they just get tornadoes just constantly um but yeah okay, i need to be faster with this i'm so slow ah oh, it's okay I mean, we spent about 15 minutes going over the references and stuff, I think. So, realistically, you've been at this for 45 minutes, so... Yeah, still not fast enough. I'm talking and, like, playing here with colors. Yeah. Just to be faster. Brighter. Let's say this is olive, I'm not sure. Mm. I, I was fascinated where olives live. Uh, there is olive trees on that s side. And mm -hmm. then somebody cut part of that hill to build something, like for the foundation. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking, everything is rock. Just a few millimeters is a bit of like dirt, and then yeah. a rock. I'm like, where this olive lives? Where it gets <laughs> nutrients and water? Yeah. What the heck? How is it possible to live like this? <laughs> so... Yeah. I I will do just a bit more, but this is just mix of yellows, then uh, more saturated all orange yellow, bit darker, then a bit brighter, the saturated, uh, as you would do for hearthstone. And if you have time, you can uh, texture this mm -hmm. much more. This is then desaturated. It just plays saturated, desaturated, and close neighbors to this. Or the opposite neighbors, like this is a bit greenish, this is bluish, and then you put it here, like the the mold, the lesion, the, the paint is off, something happens, so you have this discoloration, which is always nice. Uh, I'm missing a lot of stuff here, actually. This is some color, like... Hmm? I just keep forgetting that it's that it's a painting. <laughs> what do you mean? I keep looking at it and thinking it's a photo, like a really old photograph. Uh, yeah. Nice, it's good. It's 
it's looking good though. Nice job. We have here mm, dark. So this part is in shadow, meaning there is no reflections of the sky, meaning we can see more true uh, color of the water, which is mm -hmm. what's greenish. Emerald green. Oh yeah, Alex was talking about colors and I said it's nice to know names of colors and then he assumed I do know. <laughs> Again, this is not my language. I don't remember a thing. <laughs> I I don't know the I don't know the normal names for colors, but I know like the I know like the miniature painter names for colors where it's just <laughs> total nonsense. <laughs> nonsense? Yeah, it's like it, it's like you pick up uh, you pick up a paint pot and it's supposed to be some kind of flesh tone and it'll just be mm -hmm. like gil uh, like Gulliman's flesh. It's like okay. Oh, well. Cool. I know what yeah, sure I know what that means. <laughs> or um uh, man, I'm trying to think of some of the top of my head now. Um, let me let me look it up. But yeah, that like none of them are rel like related to uh, any actual color names or anything. Um, it's it's crazy. Um, what have we got? There's. Yeah, ho hoeth hoth blue, whatever that means, hoth blue. Um, so yeah, checkered cat says the artists I know get upset when you say purple since the real name is violet, but everyone says purple anyway. Well, violet's a shade of purple, right? It's like a type of purple. But we also got the name of uh, Violetta. By the yeah. color, which is a bit weird. Yeah. Violet. Yeah. Oh, is it like a rosy? The name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like rosy. Yeah, I didn't think about it like that. Because mm. we, we also have a name Violet. Like, that's... Uh, mm -hmm. You don't hear it very often. But... Um, so it just goes orange. Yeah, orange is. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna call my first my first born son orange. Like annoying current, because the sun is gonna be annoying. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> if he's anything like me, then possibly. You said you were a good kid. Well, I was a good kid, but it doesn't mean I wasn't annoying. <laughs> I was well behaved, but I was annoying. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is there a kid who is not capable of being annoying at one point? <laughs> oh, apparently. So purple is the name of a crayon, but it's sipped. It slipped into the language somehow. So it's just purpley now. No way. So Jaden, there is uh, a chance still for your flesh what you said like Gulliman's flesh Gulliman's uh, flesh to be yeah. mainstream there's another like there's loads there's like night night lord's blue it's like yeah okay <laughs> I guess it makes just as much sense as any other name of a shade like when you go into a paint store mm -hmm. to like paint your house and it's like ah yes this is this is like I don't know Firewood, firewood, orange. It's like, what is that? Why, what? Don't uh, you get a catalogs and you pick which one you want? Yeah, you do, but you would never guess it from the name, right? No, no, not from the name. There is like a bunch, and then you like, you want this, and they got the code, so they oh. can mix it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, obviously. What else I can? Like do so we can skip to the next one. Um, 
Yeah, this looks really simple and I'm not satisfied how it looks up close. A bit far away, it's not that bad. This one is not accurate, at least his is a bit desaturated, so you can go back and desaturate it a bit more. Mm -hmm. Here you can put more towards the violet. 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 <laughs> violet <Violate> this color. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, and no. then you can grow a bit more. Here, more brighter blue. Uh, Ayla said for years I thought Scarlet meant purple, and Checkered Cat said that they thought it was just a person's name until they started learning English. No. Uh, cr crimson? It's really cool uh, color and the name for the color, right? Yeah, yeah, Crimson, yeah. I haven't heard of anyone called Crimson, but... Uh... It's in comics, comic books. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, comic book names aren't real, so... <laughs> <laughs> Neither is yours. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is fair. <laughs> Jaden Murray. I remember when I used to work in a supermarket. Um, I had, I had someone, uh, come up to me and they were like, "Oh, I I just saw your name tag and I had to ask, like, did your parents name you after, after the Star Trek character?" And I was just like, "What?" <laughs> I just like, looked at them. I was like, well, "Pardon?" And they're like, "Yeah, like there's a there's a Star Trek character called like." Uh, like Jensen, Ensign Jaden or whatever, and I was like, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. They are also happy on hope, hope you. Yeah, I was just like, I don't. I mean, I've never met you before. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> what are you? Why, why are you asking me this? Okay, I will leave this one here. I think it's whatever. Let's call it done. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I would add a bit more con- if I start talking I will do it anyway. Here more contrast. <laughs> this part needs to be cut, the whole thing needs to be cut and moved a bit down, but because I didn't draw properly this actually needs to- <laughs> Oh yeah, See, there isn't doing... actually any flaw there, is there? Yeah, yeah, it's it's closer in perspective. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm also missing here the pots. <laughs> it's the time, we don't have time. If yeah. you're gonna do the second one, this one needs to stay ugly. Here is a tree. And then it's more gray on this side. And then here would be people, we don't care about those. <laughs> this is landscape study. <laughs> I mean, let's call it done for now. This is not this dark. Well, <laughs> let's, mm, yeah. let's call it done for now. Carries on. I can't. This is I'm perfectionist. <laughs> this doesn't work for me, Jade, and it's painful. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I've 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 dealt with this for a year, it's fine. I know better than to try and stop any of you doing anything, so... Okay, this one is simple. I was thinking this one, but how I, how should I do this in 45 minutes? No way. I could just start drawing. <laughs> that Quickly. Would be that. <laughs> That's how you do it. What <laughs> do you think? <laughs> I don't want to do face. The horse, we already did horse, the white one. <laughs> These are all white horses. If I would buy a horse, it wouldn't be white. But when I draw a horse, look, it's all white horse. Here, look. Also, white you, horse. Didn't, you didn't pick any, like, you didn't pick any, like, simple horses either. You picked, like, like the... This one I, is simple, but it's like not the, that interesting to study. I like the St. George one, but, like, that's, that's way, that's too much, I think. Wait, I get lost in my own references. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Uh, I like the one 
I actually like the one on the left, but I think the one on the right has more interesting colors, if that's what you're mm -hmm. looking for. But look at the dragon. Yeah, that is true. It's a pretty cool dragon. Oof, this is hard. This would be so easy, at least for <laughs> in terms of drawing. There is no small details. Okay, I will, you know what, I will start drawing the cherry lady as I planned. I'm getting lost in, in all yeah, of this. Yeah. If you want this, I can upload on the Discord. It's just big file. Uh, it's pure ref file uh, of half mm -hmm. a gigabyte. If you want to. Yeah. Oh, this one is also landscape. I can cut it. Oh, Histuni uh, says yes, please. Okay, well, after the stream, we'll, we'll get it. It will be in a um, bit folder. Do we have ref, um, resources folder? Yeah, we have a resources folder, yeah. Okay, we will do in resources folder. Yeah. Yeah, just bear in mind it will be a pure ref folder, uh, a pure ref file. So if you don't have pure ref, then get it. Uh, it's free. So. Uh, what's this? Checkered Cat says, oh no, this is a pain when you have to limit yourself to a time. Being a perfectionist is hard. Yeah. I'm crying on the inside. On the outside, I'm going to scream at Jaden. It's his fault. <laughs> yeah. Half of my job is being shouted at by Melissa for not letting her take as long <laughs> as she wants. You're putting the hours for David, accountant. And yeah. then you're putting three hours today being shouted at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two hours for the stream. <laughs> One hour being shouted at. <laughs> um... Histuni says, is it 45 minutes for each study? I think this is my first master study stream. Um, so normally we do uh, an hour, but we we spent the first 15 minutes like looking at the references. Um, but so it ended up being about 45 minutes each. But that's okay. Take as long as you want. Yeah, you know, if you want to, if you want to finish the study after the stream is over, then please do. Oh, yeah, I always hate uh, when everyone is doing like, oh, then this, do this gesture for 10 minutes, do this study for half an hour. I did this 10 in. I'm like, stop <laughs> leaving me limitation. I had enough of limitation in real life. I'm doing what I want. It's my time. <laughs> I want to look nice. I want to enjoy it. I don't enjoy if you put timer. Yeah. That's, uh, that's why I say, hey, Melissa, we have a stream. It's two hours long. Here's an idea. I'll let you decide how many you do no, no. and how long you take. <laughs> no, not not for that. Not for, like, um, you have sites uh, for gesture drawing. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, they're like, do you want 10 seconds, 15 seconds, or 60 seconds? I'm like, how about at least 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then I have now. to manually put how many seconds. I don't know. That's a lot of seconds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zarian says that Melissa bullying Jaden is one of the best dynamics of Moon Colony. I mean... See? I mean, hey. Uh, <laughs> as, long as, as long as someone enjoys it, I can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bad in past period, right? Sure. Right? <laughs> sure. To be fair, when I saw you in London, I was expecting way worse. No, I, I said you looked fragile. And you did. Not, yeah. not, not you. Yeah. And I didn't have a heart and you, then you're younger too. You didn't put up the fight, that's the thing. Something you need to remember is that I don't, I don't put up a fight for a lot of things. <laughs> I'm very low energy. I'm a very low energy person. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Garlic Slayer, for the posture check. It's much appreciated. Slay. Uh, Garlic Slayer. It's a great name, isn't it? I love seeing people's usernames. Um, a lot always. Some people are a bit more creative with usernames. Yeah, that's true. I always really struggle. 
Like, I want to know how Garlic Slayer came around. Like, what made you think of that as a username? Uh, Checkered Cat says, yes, we can noodle as much as we want it. Uh, as much as we want, so it looks polished. Eight hour stream when? Oh, man. Yes. Uh, what do you mean, yes? <laughs> do you yes. want to do it? Do you want to do an eight hour stream, Melissa? Well, if we have can have a guest, so I don't have to talk constantly because after three hours, I'm brain dead. I cannot talk and draw. We can do a rotation. If we can get, if we can get eight artists together, they can. No, have that's hour, too much. They can have an hour as as a as a guest each. Okay, put three artists, and we can see each other screen. But then mm. you pick for one hour, you speak with one uh, second hour with other, or all at the same time, and everyone can tune in whatever they want. Hmm. Do I have to be here the whole time? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Tell you what, I'll put it on. I'll put it on a list of ideas for future reference. <laughs> And then it's physical list, you just squish the paper yeah, and throw it in the trash. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> I've been no, it's, it's a cool teacher, idea. teacher, can I go to the toilet now, please? <laughs> I'm hungry, teacher. It's like, no, you asked for this. <laughs> I didn't see my mom says yes. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted the eight hour stream, you will sit here and you will do it. <laughs> What do I know? <laughs> nah, it's a it's a fun idea though. Doing a doing a, no, doing longer streams would be would be fun. But then I'll have to I'll have to wrestle with production for more of your time. Mm -hmm. uh, Histuni says, yeah, I started doing two minute poses with my colleagues to get back into. Uh, quick observational studies but it's so stressful <laughs> please give me more time yes yeah that's why you you look them you look them in the eye and you say no <laughs> i do not want to do that <laughs> and then they say you cannot sit with our, at our table or something how was it oh yeah you can't sit with us you can sit with us no. <laughs> no. I also loved drawing the tigers when I was uh, like in primary school. I had uh, a lot of same face drawing a tiger, and at some point I remember how the stripes go around the eyes and around mm -hmm. this. Yeah. So, for a practice, and what uh, this artist did, sometimes you love one thing, you draw it a lot. Mm. Now you're like, oh, I already drew this, maybe I won't. But some people do the same, just the same character. Like you have people from fandoms that mm -hmm. are really great artists. They would constantly do the same character and maybe add some others that, to interact with that character. And I'm not sure how they can do it. Uh, so I have a period where I like one thing, but the more I work, the longer I put in illustration and mm -hmm. the less free time I have. So. I don't have luxury drawing the same thing over and over again <laughs> because I want to make more different things and for that I need to sacrifice repeating some th themes, mm -hmm. not themes. I don't know how I would say it. I think that makes sense. I mean, saying, yeah, you want to avoid repeating themes makes sense or avoid repeating... Uh... Th this Basically the same thing but in different pose. Yeah, yeah. I bet those artists get so quick, though. I bet they get so fast at, at drawing that one character. Probably, maybe. It's their comfort zone. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. I'm like, I conquered this mountain. There is no need to uh, climb up there again. <laughs> oh, got uh, dry, dry. Oh no, you go, you go. Drawing this is really flowy. I thought it's gonna be harder, but look at the drawing. If you don't have this to look at, mm. it's just flowy shapes. Um, let's try the face really fast and then I can start adding colors. With, you said? 
Um, I was gonna say, oh yeah, we actually got the we got the backstory for Garlic Slayer's name. They uh, they said they're obsessed with eating garlic for like a week, <laughs> so that's that's how the name came around. They were hope... eating garlic for a week. Yeah, they were like obsessed with eating garlic for a week. Ah. Uh... I hope you weren't just eating like raw garlic. That would be. That's like... how you eat garlic. What you just put a whole raw garlic in your mouth? Not 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 whole, not whole. <laughs> oh, you eat raw. But like a seasoning a bit. Are you think like an apple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, no, that's too much. <laughs> that's, that's too much garlic. <laughs> uh, do you eat... Uh, m many people here eat it for every meal uh, a bit. Like a few, few cl cloves? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Per meal? Yeah. Do you? Um, mm, no. <laughs> no. Do people in general do that? Um, not in the UK, really. If we use garlic, mm. it's crushed, like crushed or chopped and then put in food. But yeah, you're never like, if someone gave you just a little, like a, a section of garlic, it was just like, there you mm -hmm. go. You'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Really? Yeah, it'd be so weird. So here, especially all the older people eat it a lot. Uh, of course, you get the smell after it. Yeah. And uh, sometimes I would do it, not now, but before I, I would eat a lot. So one day of... In, in college you go four days, not five. And you will have one free day where you don't. So I'm like, yeah. finally, I don't wash my hair today, so I can at least rest my head. And I can eat garlic. <laughs> so I do that. And it's winter, it's nice, I um, put fire in wood, uh, mm. I'm cozy, and I got the call, oh, hurry up, in the city, the professor from college from the capital is here, he w won't come back, he just came to put our, uh, the, what's it called, the numbers, the, no, to put grades. his signature, sig grades, uh, to put grades and his signature, and uh, he won't come back. We are changing professor, and I'm like, oh, this is last chance for that. <laughs> Let's hurry up. <laughs> yeah. So I put ponytail, and I'm like, just chewing gums, chewing gums, and saying, saying, excuse me, excuse me, to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> just going through this academic institution, smelling on garlic. <laughs> uh. Uh, Checkered Cat says, uh, do you keep the perspective and structure in your mind while drawing, or do you focus more on appealing shape design? Uh, I just saw that there's not much underdrawings at all, just a good sketch off the bat. That's because we are in the hurry. I will try to make the best sketch I can, mm. especially when I'm doing my personal stuff. I make the best sketch I can and try to stick to it. I, uh, and then I would make flats for what I drew uh, previously. It's because time limitation. <laughs> I would definitely uh, draw perspective for that and check it because that wasn't it in perspective. <laughs> and then it's just hurtful continuing to paint on it and seeing it's wrong. But then we did that for colors, okay? Yeah, it was colors, yeah. Yeah. No one even noticed. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ayla just put garlic bread. Oh, dude, I love garlic bread. Oh, Amy gave me a taste of hers when we were eating to try. It's nice. I, I cannot have bread, but I'm like, I'm gonna try this. And it was nice. It's more like a, a pancake than bread. Oh, I think, yeah, I think they got like a, uh, yeah, it was like a weird type of garlic bread. I saw the, the Instagram the also making like that. Yeah, a lot of places do it like that now, which is fine because it still tastes good. <laughs> I love garlic bread. It always reminds me of the. It always reminds me of the scene in in Scott Pilgrim where Scott and Ramona are on their first date, and they're eating yeah. they're eating garlic bread, and Scott is just like shoveling it into his mouth. He's like, "Man, I love garlic bread. I could eat it for every meal and every day." And Ramona's like. Garlic bread makes you fat, and he's just sat there with his mouth full of garlic bread. Like garlic bread makes you fat. But he's not fat. No, it's just oh, it's such a such a good scene. Great movie. 
I couldn't finish it, but then again, I watched it, tried to watch it recently. I should have watched it when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Check it, Cat says, oh, yes, it's a color study. Focus on the color. Yeah, 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 yeah. When, when I sent to my client, this is colors part, don't focus. The perspective is wrong, we're gonna fix that in a post. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this hand is not where it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be bigger. Like this. And higher. Okay, let's not focus on hand. The hand is gonna be blob. It's okay. It's a uh, it's a color study. <laughs> <laughs> and the head is too. You know what, Jaden? You're right. <laughs> if you want to do like to recreate the photo, um, not the photo, the image. What you would do is you would put the grid mm. oh, and you would make the same grid on this one yep. and then you can follow which detail goes here or this one goes here follow and then remove grid do it properly so now you have one on one drawing mm -hmm. and then you start painting you shouldn't pick colors uh, you should for your sake practice to hand pick them mm -hmm. But if you're doing like traditional, you want to make this but traditional, you would make a grid and then try to erase it later or cover it with underpainting, depends on the technique yeah. you're doing. Oh yeah, Checkered Cat's right. Checkered Cat says she, she's cold, uh, so she's, she's wearing a mitten. That's why her hand is uh, just a blob. <laughs> she's wearing gloves. <laughs> Yeah, that was some that was some subtle subtle subtext you picked up on that. Uh, you know. Oh man, my eye is so itchy. I'm not looking forward to. I'm not looking forward to summer. My allergies are going to come back. It's going to be bad. Maybe if you eat garlic. How here they that? say, <laughs> look here they say that garlic is gonna save you from any disease, <laughs> any virus. It must be helping also with the um, allergies. Okay. And I'm just... like, I'm like my dear parents. If I eat garlic, I swell and become sleepy, and my nose gets stuck. You didn't eat enough. Try again. <laughs> It's going to be something like that, the answer. Then you're going to be eating apples like... You're going to be eating garlic like apples. Yeah. Just crunching down. No, no, that's imported garlic. Try this one. This one is from the garden. Come on. Isn't it also for onions? They also make you eat onions to cure you from a cold. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also eat onions a bit more than garlic. Bit bigger quantities because it's not that strong. Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to I used to eat apples like onions when I was like, you know, eight years old. Uh, is it vice versa? Yes. Sweet onions yes. like an apple. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you for the raid, Dandriel. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Hello. I hope your stream went well. What were you up to? Should I show them? Oh yeah, sure, yeah. Show people what we've been what we've been doing. We are doing really fast master studies, so we have selection of artists. You can pick one. You can draw and do color study. We have landscapes. We have peoples. We have somewhere a bunch of animals, see dead animals, live animals. We have we teach that there are different and boring people. Am I? No, no, you're there fine. is a series of really similar uh, paintings, and what we picked is this landscape, and then this lady, uh, yeah. this one. 
Yeah. And we are almost out of time. Yeah, we've got yeah. like half, 20 minutes. Half an hour. Okay, half an hour. Sure. <laughs> it's like p parents. Papa, Papa, can we play more? Um, but yeah, I know. I hope your stream went well. Um, let us know what, what you're up to. Welcome to all your viewers as well. Uh, I suppose I should tell you guys about us in case you don't already know. But uh, we are we are Moon Colony. We're a concept art and illustration studio. Um, primarily working uh, in the games industry. We've, the, our sort of biggest client is probably Blizzard. We do some work for Hearthstone. So, uh, if you want to see some of more of our artists, like the lovely Melissa here, uh, do some do some educational streams or some studies like this one, or um, what else do we do? Portfolio reviews and art critiques. Then uh, give us a follow. We stream twice a week, sometimes three times if you're lucky. But if not, just uh, enjoy watching. I think we are. Uh, 32 followers away from reaching our next follower goal of 2,000. So I had to do some quick maths there. That was I stressed myself out. I don't know why I did that to myself. <laughs> if I don't look at the followers and such, I would forget me. <laughs> uh, because everyone loves run numbers. Yeah. It was it was pretty bad. My math isn't good enough for me to do quick quick maths like that. Um, Messiah said, uh, "Is it okay if I do value studies? Because it's winter it's a winter night, and I really don't want to use my watercolors." Yeah, of course. Study yeah, however whatever. you like. Yeah, it's yeah. for you to pick up yeah. something new. Yeah, yeah. Just because just because Melissa is doing one type of study doesn't mean that you have to follow along with it if you don't want to. It might not be useful for you. Doing gesture studies might be better for you if you uh, if you really want to do those. Uh, Dandro says, I'm just grinding out some commissions. I do D&D &D characters and you're trying to make your way into the game industry uh, and worked on some indie games. Uh, like three years from now, your subscriber in Art Station learned that you have a Twitch like three weeks ago. Ah, awesome! Welcome, welcome. Ah, best of luck with uh, best of luck with finding that that space in the games industry. It can it can be tough out there, but you got this. It's nice that you're already getting getting commissions though. Do you have a do you have your Art Station portfolio? Feel free to to send it in the chat. I'd love to have a look. like a really spooky sky outside my window. <laughs> How spooky? Um, it's, man, I'm going to have to try and describe it now. It's like the, the, the bottom half of the sky, so the bottom half of the horizon is just like almost pure black clouds. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the top half is, um, is like a purple, like a, purple sunset sky it's it's kind of hard to describe it so the bottom one may be uh, carrying the snow or the storm possibly yeah it, it looks like it's probably gonna rain i'll be very lucky if we get snow i'll be even luckier if it like stays past few days we have um frosty weather so all is um, ice and snow mm. Um, oh, thank you for sharing your art station. Oh, I'll give it a look. Um, oh, dude. I mean, you're already off to a win with the with the goblin. 
anybody that anybody that draws goblins is all right in my book. Um, Skull Pell, that's me outside your window, Jaden. It better not be. <laughs> if it is, you better leave. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Jaden won't open whenever I'm in front of his house. It's true. To be fair, you always stood there with a knife, so it was kind of disconcerting. Yeah. Checkered cat says, "Wow, that that, that sound oh, that looks evil. That purple and black color scheme." Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could take a picture because it's quite it's quite ominous. But I wish I wish we got more snow where I live. If we ever get snow, it just melts as soon as it hits the floor. And then that just turns to ice. So then you slip and die. Well, it needs to be constantly colder and the ground needs to be frozen for yeah. it not to melt. Yes. Angel says, I wish I had less snow. You have to clean it almost every day. Oh, wow. Uh, dude, that's, that's rough. That's got to be like, I don't know, that's got to be like Canada or one of the Scandinavian countries. Or just mountain. Well, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know why. Every time I think of snow that's that bad my brain always goes to Scandinavia or Canada we were talking yesterday about the range of temperatures with mm -hmm. Brazil, Brazil Argentina and Europe mm -hmm. and um, they are really cold around anything below 15 degrees because they didn't prepare for that mm -hmm. and um, I was checking here the range, the warmest it got is 41 or 2, and the coldest it was, it was minus 39 on the mountain. The minus range is... 39? Yeah, but that's on mountain. Nobody lives there, I think, over the winter. Yeah. The problem then is more for animals because they are not in the house you cannot make fires around them or when the snow is too big and it's mm. too cold the electricity will go out oh, that's rough. otherwise i'm really fine with going to school and just shoveling snow <laughs> yeah it's funny looking at other countries and seeing how much snow they need to get for their school to be closed down like mm -hmm. in, in the uk it's hilarious you get like you, you, you get like that much snow you know you get like a couple centimeters of snow and the school is like that's it we're closed <laughs> like all the buses get cancelled <laughs> it's so good i yeah. love it yeah it was awesome. Jaden Zell says, in Canada, we've been getting the hottest and coldest days. And it's like, it's like global warming. I'm telling you, it's ruining it for everybody. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, when, you, no, you go. when you get a few degrees warmer weather, you start, start complaining on all frequencies. Yeah. I told you when I got notification on my phone being here, because the warmest summer ever, it's unbearable. I'm like, where is this? It's in England? Why I'm getting notification <laughs> how the weather is in England? Before this this uh, September, I never went there. <laughs> it, knows just... you wanna, it knows you want to come back. No, no, be before that, like, just imagine... You're getting notification how it is, I don't know, is in um, India. That's its warmest summer in India. And then you're like, why am I getting this notification? <laughs> yeah. 
be fair, yeah, last year was last year was pretty rough. I think it got to I think it got to like thirty five degrees or something, which in the UK is like that's that's really high. <laughs> thirty five degrees is deadly. Um Checkered cats is up. their electricity goes out anytime there's strong wind. We don't even have snow in Texas. <laughs> yeah, oh, Texas yes, had pretty... one once last oh, yeah. year or yeah. two years ago, and everybody yeah. was cold. Yeah, but also, isn't Texas pretty flat? So those winds have got to be real. Like, they probably get really strong. Um, Dandriel, there's terrible. There was a terrible weather in my region last week. Uh, they had minus 36 at night. It was so cold as hell, even in houses. Oh. Minus 36, what? wow. Uh, yeah, the, the, when it's like that, the Yakutsk, the, go, the coldest city, they don't, many cars work constantly. They don't turn them off. Yeah. Man, I hate uh, and driving the in minus three. Mm. <laughs> what? what? Checking cats is sorry to hear that the coldest they experienced was minus thirty-one, and they would freeze, and they they thought they would freeze to your brain. Where, like, where are you? That it's it's like minus thirty six and minus thirty one. Like, I don't know any main cities or like towns or anything that would get that cold. Moscow region minus thirty one in winter sometimes. Damn. Okay, this girl has a skin complex like the foundation I put today. It's snow white, <laughs> and then you put just a bit of um, blush, mm. and that's it. You can yeah. contour a bit, like like yeah, around. Yeah, like a whole she got, makeup routine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She got a bit round face. This contour would work in modern time differently for her. But this is from um, 19th century. Mm. I'll see you later, Hooting Mandrel. Thanks for coming along. It's great to see you. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, Angel says, I have no clue how people live in the Yak Yaku Yakutsk. Yakutsk? Yeah. Uh, and people live in Yakutsk. Uh, I think there was minus 56 this winter. N no. <laughs> Just no. Why? <laughs> like, why would you? Like, you skip past the how and you go straight to the why. Your car turns off, you're dead. That's, that's I don't know thing. how they... Like, my car barely works at, like, minus five, you know? <laughs> like, I can't I can't clear the windscreen because the, the, like, thing's all frozen. It's just bad. You just, it must be running on, like, antifreeze just all the time. My husband makes fun of me because I, I ask for my car, is it okay, yeah? Does it have antifreeze? Uh, and I know it's put in the s cleaning thing mm -hmm. that... It's not supposed, but then I ask, is it in fuel? And then he's like, haha, anti in fuel, haha, <laughs> he starts making... I'm like, I mean additives, I know there is um, <laughs> fuel with additives. And then he's making fun of me because I ask, is it anti-freeze in my fuel? <laughs> uh, oh, come on, I have to go too. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the time. Have an amazing weekend. I hope to join soon again on Discord. Uh, Bye, Carmine. Man. Bye, Carmine. It was great to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Take all the time you need. You're a busy man now. Uh, it's minus 41 at the moment. No way. 
And now I can tell him that Jaden also said that you put antifreeze into the No. Kill. No. You did? I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> that's not if if oh. I did, that's not what I meant. Did I disappear? You did disappear. Where have you gone? I... Can you fix it? Um I can try. Uh give us a second. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Hello, we're back. Uh, luckily, easy. Hello. Fits. Now we have to do two more hours <laughs> until this is done. <laughs> yeah, tell you what, I will. I'll leave the stream going, uh, and then I'm gonna go and get some food and, and relax. Where and is where is solidarity in that? Mm. <laughs> I, I I said the stream is uh, the stream is like two hours. Okay, <laughs> if you want to go over. That's yeah, fine. but it wasn't two hours, and now we have to start again. <laughs> um, uh, oh, I see Dandriel had to go as well. See you later, Dandriel. It's nice to it's nice to see you. I hope you don't freeze. <laughs> um, check it, cat. Oh, that kitty cat in the loading screen. Yeah, it's very cute, isn't it? It's adorable. Yes, please. Five more hours. Can't do five more yeah. hours. Can't do yeah. it. I'm so No, hungry. you won't. You can, but you won't. No, I can't. My stomach is rumbling already. I have some potatoes. That, that, that doesn't, help, that like doesn't help me, Melissa, if you have potatoes. Just think about potatoes. <laughs> that makes me more hungry. Okay, uh, the face, if you don't render completely or you're just some ad stuff, it doesn't look good. <laughs> because it's face. Cannot be half half. Oh. Oh, Alexa finished that, uh, that free, that free portrait that I was offered. It looks amazing. Uh, this is like third portrait from Alexa for you. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It might be my second or my third. <laughs> yeah. It looks really nice. Lips and nose. I always forget uh, how streams you become um, stiff and tired, but you you cannot move too much, and then you're like, "Why I'm doing this to myself?" Half an hour later, I can do this again. <laughs> and you want to go for another five hours? Oh, I did. I uh, when I'm doing my workshop. Yeah. That's three hours, then half an hour's pause, then three hours, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. By the end, at the 11 in the evening, everything is hurting. You're hating all your parts <laughs> of the body because you feel them. And they're like, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Then like, why well, I'm doing this to myself. This is awful. <laughs> in the morning. Okay, let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> 
we would have to do let's see we would we would have to do maybe like three hours of um of like us just normal just chatting and stuff and then a break and then maybe some maybe some quiet time so that i can get on with some work <laughs> and then uh finish off with another little bit what do you mean quiet time quiet time meaning who, who is uh, gonna watch our being quiet do people watch yeah, people think... watch quiet streams a lot you'd be surprised I would Especially rather watch art streams. Too. A lot of people like watching art streams just for the vibes. That's yes, but it's nice when I draw to t to talk to you. Then I don't have to think what others people would think. <laughs> don't overthink. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel that. What I did here, I, I made her a double ball. Why? I, I don't know. I was talking to you. Let's say that. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is why we needed quiet time, Melissa. You distracted <laughs> yourself. Check your cat says, I sometimes watch uh, quiet streams. So I just paint too and look at what the professional is doing. Yeah, sometimes it can be nice. So you want to watch Jaden painting in quiet? Nope. <laughs> no, no, nope. <laughs> didn't even need to. I didn't even need to think about anybody's response to that. It's too late. It left my mouth. <laughs> The more I look at the reference, the more kind of spooky I find the stare. It's like r staring right into right into your soul. I don't know how big the painting is. That's also the thing. Yeah. Do you know what when it's called? When you see the museum. I can, I can look it up. The chair is something. Um, I think maybe just cherries. Oh, uh, Lawrence Alma. Cherries. Dimensions. 79 centimeters by 130 or 129 centimeters. Oh, that's... It's quite long. It's a lot. It's like over... A, it's like a meter 30 long. Almost r real a life size, right? Again, uh, I am bad with math. I mean, if they're short, I guess. If the, if the woman in the portrait is... In the, yeah, the portrait is short, then maybe. <laughs> yeah, but it's foreshortened. It's from the kind of front. Oh, yeah, she's... Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think she could fit in the frame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's part of a private collection. It's not even in a museum anymore. Yeah, many of those are... Again, I'm so sorry I don't have time to finish this properly, to make it to the <laughs> nice looking stage. Don't worry about it. It's all I do, Jaden. I'm rendering illustrator. Like all I I'm... do is worry, is it rendered enough? <laughs> it's okay, it's a color study. You don't need to <laughs> render it so much. I didn't add all the colors. <laughs> oh, okay, well, it's a it's a, a study. Jacob <laughs> uh, Cat says her skin tone is so subtle blue green. Maybe because the mm. carpet is so red too, but she looks so pale. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, if we zoom in, this is greenish gray. Just a bit of blush and she doesn't have much pigment to begin with. I wonder if some of that would also be from like uh old old varnish and dirt when they scanned it. Uh, in. This one looks okay. Look at the bottom one. The bottom one she just she's so pale. Bleed. <laughs> yeah. Bleed. Uh, now, when you paint this, this is on purpose, like you would get a bit of veins, then a bit of curvature, so a bit mm -hmm. of bounce light, a bit of blush here. Then again, I don't know, uh, did she have the powder when she posed or no? Mm -hmm. But it's kind of accurate. It, it would be strange if it would be just one hue. Yeah. So you always mix some hues. This is a girl face. So you cannot go too much because any, like what I did, any hard edge is noticeable and makes it looks not pretty. Mm. And for gentle girl face, you need to be careful to remove those if you add them. Mm. That's why it's nice to draw older male characters. You can make whatever hard line you want. You can add uh, details. Uh, Rajan Ram said, uh, is this a Sajon piece or a William Bureau? It's actually neither. Uh, it's, uh, by Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema. Tadema. Yes, and uh, what, what he says first, I think he, is, he said Sergeant. Yeah, yeah. Sergeant, we have him here. I picked some. He got a lot of lot nice artworks. Again, many people probably do have. Some are not saved. Some, uh, what was I looking for? I think I was looking one of those, Van Gogh. And they're like, this is in this museum. This is in this museum. And this one, and it was like in Japan. It was destroyed in Second World War by the America um, airstrike. It was <laughs> like that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> So some are destroyed, some are in private collections. I think one of them is in is in London. Some are not scanned, yeah. This one is both back from the London, uh, back to Serbia, it's Serbian painter. Um, so they bought it back here. Mm -hmm. I know that, it's recent news. Yeah. Let's come back to this guy. What when else you, I can do before we go? Hmm? When you came to London, did you go to the uh, the art the art gallery? We went all together, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I I joined you guys a bit later, so I missed some of that. Uh, it it's hard to track where is eleven of us, <laughs> and then how how much time we got <laughs> yeah. so it's like hurry hurry see this see this oh we are lost again <laughs> and Emra was just collecting us all <laughs> to not get lost <laughs> like flocking us to, yeah flocking us yeah. <laughs> yeah can you all be at my same visual <laughs> <laughs> he was one step away from making us all hold hands with each other so that we didn't get lost <laughs> <laughs> I hated that when we hold hands together. It was so uncomfortable. The kids are sweating. <laughs> and then you get itchy. Yeah. All I can do is just group. But we are out of time, right? It's Friday. I won't bore you anymore. So we did a bit of <laughs> fast this one and then this one it's my nice contrast because this is bluish this mm. is on the orange side yeah. uh, i will upload this now do not forget you can pick whatever you want i suggest if you love humans something of the william mm. or the the john sergeant sergeant Sorry. I'm so sorry for my non-reading for the landscape. Yeah, this is also uh, nice for the landscapes. Mm. Uh, it's simple but really effective. Uh, from this, 
this view you will learn how to mix uh, the saturated colors next to each other in shadows and in the light just do some of this if you're not sure also this one for the colors how to mix them how to not get muddy colors uh, but still not be monochromatic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. these are more complex ones so you can uh, do if you want into the history clothing these are so uh, heavily yeah, M, uh, how you say when you add a lot of stitching? Uh, <laughs> it's on a... Uh, okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. I know the term when you add a lot of oh, like golden stitching. Embro embroidered? Is that... Embroidered. Yeah, embroidered. Thank you, check it, chat. Much appreciated. Oh yeah, this one. This one is for emotions. It's called... Um, Old Shepherd, Chief Mourner, so he's a um, master died. Oh, it's, it's so emotional one. It's simple, simple looking one. It looks a bit rough on the edges on purpose. And then you have this emotion here. Mm -hmm. Or it's just me. Yeah, pick one, do one study, see how it is. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know mine aren't perfect. <laughs> Uh, and you can focus on colors, on values, on drawing, whatever you feel like. You can post it or you can keep it for yourself. Yeah. That's also fine. Yeah. Um, uh, that's all from me. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you've, if you've followed along with us or if, you decided to, uh, if you've decided to do uh, any other studies, then um, throw them in the Discord. Let us see them if you're comfortable with that. Uh, we have the study room for it. So... Yeah, we love we love checking out people's works. I can see uh, I see his crafts already uh, put one in there. A uh, study of Ivan I Ivazowski's work. If I, I Slavic names, they're, they're hard. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that would be that would be awesome. Uh, I will just let you know that next week we uh, we have three streams. So uh, on Tuesday, we have a figure drawing session. So you know, another one that you can join in with if you fancy. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to be having portfolio reviews. And then Thursday, we actually have a uh, art recruitment Q&A with our talent acquisition manager, Jill. So uh, I'll be opening up a channel in the Discord today where you can put in your questions and then we'll pick our favorites and answer them in the stream but thank you so much everybody for watching uh please do look forward to, to next week and uh, we'll see you soon have a great weekend and goodbye bye bye, bye. see ya